everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Indie Zombie Reviews. Today I am talking about Neon Drive. Let's begin. Neon Drive is an obstacle course and also a slightly rhythm based game as well. It goes for $10 on Steam, is also on the App Store, and is on the PlayStation 4. This is the PS4 version. Now just to be perfectly upfront here, I haven't actually even beaten this game. And I'll get more into about why I can't. The controls are simple, you simply go right or left, either using the directional buttons or even the X and circle buttons, or whichever you prefer. The levels offer quite a bit of variety in terms of difficulty, look, how they are presented, and music. The game is also kind of hard as balls, and feels pretty cheap at times too. More on that in a bit but the game can also be pretty lenient on the challenge as well, giving you two attempts, slowing things down after you get hit, and giving you time to collect yourself. Same thing for when you pause the game as well, and giving you checkpoints, always when you get 50% of the way through the level. The cheapness comes from some obstacles leading you into an unescapable trap, but the levels never change, thankfully, so you learn, and you're given as many new tries as you want. The challenge for difficulty is also pretty different. Normal, you get two hits, on hard, one hit, and insane, the level is much faster. Thankfully, checkpoints are still in effect. You don't even have to beat the previous levels in order to even proceed, though if you want to try free run mode or any of the other modes, you have to have beaten the previous levels. You can also kind of customize your license plate. Kind of, in that it's only about four letters long. I did manage to have a little bit of fun with that. What's also pretty cool is how each new course or level gives you a new and really cool car. They all drive and feel the exact same though. There is also a free run mode where your goal is to hit as many of the objects as possible. This is a pretty cool little game. I like it quite a lot, but there's really no way I could beat this without feeling the horrible sensation of my brain and eyes possibly melting. So, approach this game with some caution. It's delicious. It's chocolate. 